What's up, sneaky people? It's your boy FB Kicks and Gear, and I am back with another video. And this time, we are doing another legit check guide on the Jordan One Chicago Lost and Found. And this shoe remains to be one of the most popular shoes that have released in the past year. Y'all know the story. For me, I, I got three retail pairs: two I paid retail for, one I paid resale for. So I've released. A bunch of different videos I've done a bunch of different legit check guides and I will continue to do this as long as these as long as you guys want to keep seeing these shoes and there's always something to report on I'm gonna do these videos but before I get into this specific video I would invite you guys to join us on discord uh, the Saturday morning losers club uh, it's our discord group where we talk about sneakers clothes fashion whatever whatever you want to talk about um, my specific presence there is to talk about shoes i like talking about shoes legit checking the differences between a real shoe and a fake shoe that's my thing uh, that's what i like to talk about but there are other people in the group that you can talk about whatever the hell you want to but uh yeah join the group we're a bunch of good people we're trying to bring some positivity to this sneaker community especially this contentious real versus fake uh, kind of deal so uh, join us the link for the discord group is in the description and just like with every other video if you would like to see more pictures of this shoe specifically the details and the things that I bring up in this video when I'm comparing them to the real pair please check out the Instagram account on the screen you'll see all of the pictures and detailed information that you will need so with that said guys let's get into this legit check guide as stated we have the lost and found for a lot of people this was the shoe of the year last year uh, not my personal shoe of the year but uh, it was a shoe of the year for a lot of people so I'm gonna continue doing these legit checking guides and I gotta say these guides are important because the shoes, especially the reps, keep getting better when it comes to this thing, when it comes to this. So uh, I always want to keep our information current so that if we are legit checking or helping other people legit check, uh, we know what the fuck we're talking about. So uh, before we even talk about the shoes, before we even do that breakdown of the shoes, we gotta start with the box because I have the authentic box here. So let's do that. If you guys are familiar with how I break down these shoes, there are a couple of things that I look for to determine the real versus fake. And a lot of it starts with not even the shoes, right? There are some really, really, really hard hitting telltale signs uh, that you can use even if you don't have an authentic pair on hand to reference. And I'm gonna point those to you. The first thing that I like to look at because it's the absolute easiest thing to look at is the sales sticker. And the sales sticker looks like the small kind of innocent thing, but man, has it helped me legit check so many lost and found reps because most people don't know that this can be used to authenticate. So the first thing that you want to look at when it comes to this, this sale, this sale sticker is a bright pale yellow. Uh, that's important, but more importantly, look at the edges around the sticker. You can see that it's sharp. Every corner, every line is 90 degree angles. They're pointy, they're crisp. That's what you want to see. Now, when you go to the rep, what do you see? You see a darker yellow, almost like a dark highlighter yellow, and you see those round edges, those, especially the corners where lines meet, they're round, they're smooth, they're not as sharp. That is an absolute telltale sign when it comes to the shoe. I've seen it time and time and time again. I think I might have seen one rep, one rep, that gets the corners and the edges correct. And that rep did not have the colors right on the on the sticker either. So uh, that sticker is still a super, super, super easy tool to be able to use. Uh, let's see if I can do a side by side that makes sense. Uh, you can see that pretty easily in my opinion, that those stickers are not the same color and the definition in the corners are just not the same. Super easy tell very small but if you know what you're looking for you'll be able to find it the next thing that i like to look at in terms of the box is just the general overall kind of fading effect that goes on i don't know how rep factories decide to copy these kind of effects but you can tell pretty clearly in my opinion that the fading is different from the authentic pair over here to over there it looks more scattered and not as in your face on the authentic pair. And then on the rep, 
it's it's the exact opposite taste just take this area right here on the Nike swoosh that curls around on the side here look at this speckling of of design right here and then if you look on the rep it's like night and day authentic on top rep on bottom if you look this is the authentic pattern and it should be mirrored on the rep but it's just night and day it's it's different um, the overall pattern is the same as far as placement goes but when you look side by side you see in every location here on the rep it's just more bold and in your face and it's way more subtle on the authentic pair from there the next thing i like to do is i look at the the sandy bros receipts and i will say that they have gotten so much better it used to be really easy to tell just based on the the text uh the text on the reps and the signatures and the handwriting used to be so much more bold on the rep than it would be on the authentic uh, receipt but it looks like rep factories have gone out of their way to make it a little bit more accurate uh, one of the things that i used to look at and this rep gets it right but if you look at this text right here notice how it's smudged it's not really clean and crisp text on older versions of the rep receipt it used to be super legible and super clear unlike the authentic version and um, now they've gotten it right but i think the clear difference here is the color obviously while the authentic looks kind of old like a triplicate receipt the rep version is definitely a lot more faded and light but more or less they definitely look a lot closer it just looks like uh, outside of maybe some misplacement in the you know the weathering effects on the outside it looks like the rep is pretty close so the main difference here is the coloring of the paper and that's pretty much it when it comes to the box and accessories so let's actually get into the comparison of the shoes so you guys know that I don't generally find too much when it comes to the actual shoes I think the more interesting comparison comes down to comparing the boxes of the accessories but right from the start I want to hit on this one thing that I pointed out I'm gonna coin it I am the person that has the, had that discovered it first and you guys probably know what I'm talking about if you've seen the other reviews but what I'm talking about is specifically located on the back of this tongue tag for the longest time no reps ever had this a in China notice how there's like a point to the top of the a it's like a very subtle single strength pointing up on top of the a if you look at the rep it's not there at all the a is flat it's it's there's no point now i have yet to see a rep that actually mimics that and gets it right now there are definitely authentic pairs that exist that don't have that sharp pointy a but those authentic pairs are few and far between and mostly isolated in the larger sizes 13 and above from my research at the very least so uh, that is to say this if you find a shoe that has the point of day it's more than likely not a rep if you find a shoe that doesn't have it could still be authentic but you'd have to look into the other stuff like the box and all that other good stuff that we've already gone over. So uh, with that said, now that we know the kind of heavy hitting secret weapon that I like to use, let's just take a look at the shoes as a whole and do a, a nice little comparison. And I'll go through some of the other uh, hit points that I like to look at. One thing that, I did, that I've noticed a lot when it comes to rep sneakers is that when you compare the tongue the color of the tongue is supposed to be a I don't know how really to explain it's a it's a tannish off-white kind of color uh, clearly it's pale the reps have a hard time matching that for some reason whether that's because they're using a different foam underneath or they're using a different nylon material uh, but usually reps tend to be on the pinker side when it comes to the shade of this tongue and uh, while the border of the tongue tends to be a dingy-ish kind of white, 
uh, to simulate age, reps also tend to have this being super bright white and pale. So let's compare them and we'll see where they stand. So comparing them side by side, I've got to say the rep might have a very, very, very slight tint of pink to it, but it's super close, definitely super close and much, much better than some of the reps that you've seen on my channel where that tongue is pink and super noticeable. And also it looks like the outlines are just slightly different color. And I think that has to do with the fact that the reps just are using a foam that kind of shows through color wise. If you look, it actually ends up being with the authentic pair being a little bit lighter than the border on the tongue of the rep. From what I can see, it's definitely that foam coming out from underneath that is giving it that tone, which is making it different. Um, maybe that's because the material in the rep is a little bit more transparent than the material in the authentic pair, but um, I can also feel that the rep is a little bit more heavily padded than the authentic pair is as well. And that might have to do with the fact that it seems like the authentic pair, the tongue just seems to be a little bit wider possibly. Uh, but from there, uh, the only other subtle color difference that I tend to see uh, on reps is the color of the black sock liner. On the authentic pair, obviously it's a nice, it's a crisp black. Uh, and on reps, sometimes it tends to be a little bit blue in comparison, but let's see. So you can see the same thing kind of going on. I'm not sure how well it's being picked up, but if you look, the black of the sock liner is almost a little bit more faded than the black of the authentic pair whether that's because of the dye of the material or whatever um, it just feels like or looks like uh, it's got that blue tint because of that fading so uh, this rep does have that and i feel like that's a pretty good legit checking indicator as well uh, hopefully it comes off in the light as well as i can see it here but definitely side by side i see a difference from there, the only real thing to look at is the materials, and um, that's pretty much it. As you guys know, we have crumbling white leather on the white panels here. It's not super great leather. It's not super soft or anything like that, uh, and you have cr crumbling black leather around. Uh, on authentic pairs, it can vary pretty drastically, and as you can see, uh, the cracking is definitely not as uh, apparent on the replicas as it is on the authentic pair, but still well within retail range. So um, unfortunately you can't look to that to really legit check. Let's do a side by side to see what we're looking at color wise. Color wise, things look pretty identical. Obviously you can see a little bit better the difference in aging and cracking between the left pair, which is the authentic and the right pair, which is a replica, but more or less, I would expect to see the same in an authentic pair as well. So, and there's the bottoms. Again, there's not much I can really call out or anything like this. This is gonna vary on authentic pairs as well. So, but I'll tell you guys, even with the things that I pointed out, I'm always catching myself and making sure I look at the back of the tag so I can identify my authentic pair. So uh, it is pretty fucking difficult. These rep factories have made these better and better and better. These are arguably the most accurate that I've seen, I think, even down to that shape. You can see that they have a similar shape. Maybe the authentic pair might lean a little bit more forward than the rep, but more or less, it's, it's the same. Looking at it now, I kind of see a little bit difference in positioning of the Wings logo, but again, that's gonna vary between authentic pairs as well. There's a lot of stuff that you can't really point to, especially if you're if you're uneducated in how to legit check. But between the box, the little A, maybe if you have that eye, you can use the color of the sock liner. You should still be able to be authenticating these pretty thoroughly. So, so I challenge you guys, uh, point out some differences that I might have missed that can't show up on an authentic pair right none of the variation none you can't talk about the difference in cracking and thing like things like that uh, tell me what you guys think is a little bit off on the rep that you that you can point out that's not wrong on the authentic pair because uh, i gotta tell you even when you look at those toe shapes um, 
Um, they really, really did a good job matching and mimicking that. Uh, this is dangerous, guys. We are in danger territory right now. But we knew that. We knew that. And that's why me, FB Kicks, and Gear am here to do these comparisons for you. So, so what do you think, guys? This is probably the fifth or sixth or maybe even seventh Lost and Found that I've done so far. Is this the best one yet? Is this the hardest to tell? Um, I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say that this is probably the best pair that I've seen as far as replicas go and probably the one that would give me the most trouble with authenticating if I didn't have my authentic pair here. But remember, we have the handy dandy look at the A in China and see if there's a point on there if you are a size smaller than 13. So. All that said, guys, that's all I got. Uh, please remember, join the Discord. Let's talk about these shoes specifically. Let's talk about the shoes that you guys are afraid of. Tell me what you would like to see me legit check next, and I'll, I'll add it to the list. So uh, remember, guys, always Instagram account on the screen so you can look at more detailed photos on this, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.